Bullet, the Silver Bullet, must try Android x86 on the Silver Bullet. The Wacky World of Multimedia J. I don't know, folks. I think it's about time we brought the Core 2 Duo out of retirement. After all, I mean, it is, well... Right! What was on this thing? We still have an unregistered Windows 10? That's kind of like the operating system version of unregistered Hypercam 2. Well, it certainly still has a floppy drive anyways. Silver Bullet! Running off a Core 2 Duo system. In the original case, 4 gigs of RAM. From, well, the original case from the original computer I built in college, back when I first started building computers for the first time. And, yeah, it's not a very good case. There's no cable management and only support for 80 mil fans, but there's some kind of Windows 10 on here. Probably unregistered, because there's no license for Windows 10 on this thing. So it's probably going to have watermarks and other stuff. I just want to zip onto the internet real quick and install Geekbench and see what this thing does versus my smartphone. We already know that rubbish is too slow to really serve as an Android console, but I wonder if this thing, despite its low horsepower and old-school dual-core nature, might actually be useful in that respect. Silver Bullet 9 night Rock and Roll, baby! <laughs> I'm not going to go too nuts with the patching because I'm on a nuke Windows in order to try Android x86 on this thing. If it's fast enough to be worth the trouble, but there's really not much else I can do with this thing because it's it's dual core, it's Core 2 Duo, and it's got an old video card too, so... Firefox Chrome 7-zip, da-da-da-da-da, downloading right now. I'm not going to go too crazy with the Windows patches because the big thing that I want to install is Geekbench. 1484... 1586 662 Big desktop computer that guzzles 80 watts Little smartphone that, when it's charging anyways, sips 7 something watts That's technology miniaturization for you. But much like rubbish Despite the number difference of course Much like rubbish I don't really have anything else that I can really do with this computer so let's try and see if putting Android x86 on a CD makes it easier to install. Maybe I can turn the silver bullet into an Android console. Hi, smartphone. Are you hungry? Time for some num-nums. <sighs> Nerd! Anywho. Epic fail. Time to repurpose this Remix OS CD. Just get the cow out of the way here. This now contains the installer for Android x86. Let's see if I can uh, do up the uh, partition installer thingy that is done via a text prompt <laughs> and make this sucker into a an Android console. I'm sure that you know Tuxedo would make a decent Android box too, but with how much of a power sucker that is, uh, why? Oh. It started and went back to Windows 10. Not good! Oh, whoops, the computer went to sleep in between uh, recording uh, thingies here. Takes? I don't know. <laughs> I took a break to uh, go do some other stuff for a bit. Okay, mulligan. Come on, boot Android x86 off the CD! Yes. Oh, yeah, then it beeps. <laughs> So, we actually have an optical drive again. No more flash stick stuff. Um, I wonder how that works if you have hard drives inside one of these ma 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 machines. Okie dokie. Let's get going on this. Here we go again. I accidentally installed to the Windows swap file partition, so there wasn't enough disk space. Duh. <laughs> Epic fail. Once again, I try to build an Android box, I end up with a DOS machine. <laughs> Except I can't type win in order to go into a graphical environment. <laughs> Let's do some digging on how to fix this. Epic fail. So I tried making some command line edits when installing and booting in Bash to try and you know, fix the hanging that was going on as the thing was starting up that was basically turning this into a useless command line machine. And I wound up with this. It starts booting the kernel, and then it says something about an emergency restart, and then just starts all over. 
Why don't I try an earlier version of Android x86? <laughs> okay, I'm dialing things back a bit with this Android x86 stuff. I was trying the uh, 7.1 version because the new smartphone runs off of Nougat. But that was a release candidate version of Android x86, so I'm actually going back to Marshmallow to see if something that's actually considered a stable release gives me better results. <laughs> Let's try it out. Okay, we got past the boot prompt with the Android Marshmallow release of this whole thing. And we get stuck with a line on the screen at the next screen afterwards. You know, Android x86 has so much potential in terms of taking an old computer and turning it into an Android console. But this project is never, ever going to be something that makes me want to give up Linux on an old computer if it's like this. If it's toss a coin and maybe you'll get past the boot prompt. Or hope your hardware works, sucka. Or something like that. I admire the effort, but X80, Android x86 I cannot recommend to anybody except people who really, really want to tinker around with something that takes way more effort to get running than most Linux distros. Quite frankly, I think the silver bullet should run off of Kubuntu and then find some really, really lightweight Linux distro to run rubbish off of. See if I can find one where it's actually like using a normal computer even though rubbish is, well, rubbish. I'm starting to think that if I want to have an Android console, I'm going to have to, you know, buy a smartphone or something with some kind of video out, like itty bitty HDMI to full size HDMI and play with Bluetooth controllers, you know, if I want to have my answer to the OUYA. Because getting the computers to serve this role is too much work. I know there is some stuff with x86 and ARM and stuff like that that's in play here, but this project just sounds so promising. But I've tried a release candidate of Nougat and a so-called stable release of Marshmallow, and I get this. Trying to make an old computer into an Android box. Oh, well, maybe it's because the computer's too old. Regardless, this'll be it with Android x86 for a bit. Let's go get Linux. There, the silver bullet is now a proper Linux machine once again, and Kubuntu runs a lot snappier on the silver bullet than it did on Rubbish. Which means I still need to find a more lightweight operating system in order for rubbish to actually be worth something this year. Ay 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 ay. Or I could just do Neverware, Chromium, and just do the updates that way. Regardless, that is a decision to be made on another day, because today is yet another day in which Linux saves the day. Till next time, this is Multimedia J signing off. Thanks for stopping by.